Daniel Blodgett, I'm from the Tutorial Brothers, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial in Motion 5 on how to do flourishes. Now, flourishes are becoming more and more popular um, for special videos like wedding videos and slideshows, and they're just really neat, and they're um, pretty, pretty and unique, and you can really take them, there's no limit on how far you can take them. Um, so here's an example of what we're doing. Uh, this is a really simple one. There's a lot more complex flourishes out there, like these ones. Uh, like I said, today we're going to only be doing one with three strokes that doesn't cross paths. Uh, really great for starting. Uh, the reason I'm not going to be showing you how to do complex flourishes is because they take quite a while. Um, so today I'm just going to be showing you the steps and the techniques and the basics on how to do it, and you can figure out the rest by yourself. So what we're going to start off with is three groups, uh, one called Shapes, one called Flourish, and in that I've got a basic Flourish picture I got off the internet, I just googled Flourish and I found this, I think it's like the seventh page, um, and then we've got our background which is just a white square. So we're going to close that. So what we're going to do is, if you guys haven't seen my handwriting or yeah handwriting tutorial um, there will be a link at the end of the video and also in the description um, it's basically the same technique you can use both techniques for the opposite effect so I'm showing you a little different technique but it's the same um, product in the end how we get there so what we're going to do is we're going to select our shapes group we're going to go to bezier or bezier what however you call it i don't know how to call it what to call it and we're going to select that we're going to go we're first going to do our middle line the the biggest one so we're going to start here and we're going to start going on our line doesn't have to be perfect just got to cover it um to make it more perfect if you want you can use you can keep pulling, don't let go on the dot, uh, keep pulling, and you can manipulate the curves with these little handlebars that pop up. Like so. I'm really bad at this today. Just like that, and we want to go a little past the line. Just like that, and we're just going to click out of there so it doesn't connect. And we're going to go to our HUD, our heads up display, and we're going to turn off fill. And we're going to keep outline on, we're going to turn up the width. Just like that, and we'll leave it green. Because that is just so we can uh, pick out our shapes easier. So let's select our shapes and we're going to do the other two lines now. Real quickly, let's do the top one. Just like that, heads up display. Click out first. There it is. Fill, bring up the outline so it covers it all the way. Don't want to see that black, and we'll change it to blue. And we'll do the bottom one now. And I'm pretty sure you can push Command H to uh, open up the heads up, heads up display, heads up display. Let's see if we can right now. So select to push Command H. Nope, that's Command Hide. <laughs> um, F7 Alright Well we can just click it We don't have to be lazy with the commands I guess Bring up the width And we'll make it red Alright so that's all we need right now It looks pretty silly and Not really Doesn't look like we're doing much but we are So now we're going to go to our flourish group we're gonna right click it and push add image mask and if you had the HUD up 
it'll show this well right here but also in the inspector and image mask it'll also have this well right there and we're just going to drag our shapes group into that well and it'll all dis disappear so now we're going to go to our middle one our green and if you see at the very bottom of our outline um, inspector shape style this last point offset if it's at zero you'll see our middle line disappeared here but if you bring it up you'll see it kind of looks like it's stroking on there so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to zero we're going to push the record button we're going to go uh, plus 90 frames which is three seconds and I'll bring this all the way up and then you can see if we play this what that looks like and where I'm getting so it looks like it's my computer's going a little slow right now but it looks just looks like it's painting on which is pretty cool so we're gonna do that with our other two bring it to zero bring it to zero plus 90 bring it up there and bring the top one all right so let's watch that real quick so we're really just working with masks just like the handwriting tutorial i showed you earlier um let's stack these a little bit because in a lot of the flourish videos i've seen it's not they don't all start at the same time like you see here and end at the same time it's more like a continuous stroke so say this middle line is right there that's when i want this top line to start so we're going to select our top um uh, this one and we're going to grab this bezier one and drag it over so it starts when this one is here lined up like that so it's more like a stroke then we're going to wait till about here and we'll start the bottom one which is bezier Bezier 2 and let's make this smaller so we can see it. And drag that over and let's watch this again. So, still, it's not in real time, but I think that looks pretty good. And that's the basics and how to do a flourish effect. Uh, once you just learn those, it's pretty easy to get into the uh, hardcore stuff like I showed you earlier. And that's all for you all for you guys today and have a great day guys and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you please share it and subscribe to us have a great day